Good Wednesday morning, July 28th, 2021. Episode 162, Roger Branish Shahan made the Hall of Fame. His numbers are low. Played from 1890, see, 1900, 1915, 1446 games. 1,252 hits, that's low, less than a hit a game, 682 runs scored, 218 doubles, fair, only 26 homers, 530 RBIs, and a 279 lifetime batting average. Now, he's a catcher, and like Ray Chalk, he got voted in. You know why? Because it was at the turn of the century, and he was one of those tough guys who played. I mean, his numbers are not that great. The highest hit total, 142. Highest run scored, 87. Only 26 home runs in 15 years. 530 RBI. His high in RBIs, only 56. And his high batting average did have one season where he batted 350, then another season where he batted 302. Let's look at it. Two, 1901, 268, then 278, 272, 350, 1903, 284, 302, and 1905. 281, 253, 283, 244, 278, 278. 1912, only 48 games, 333. 1913, 228, 278, and then 204. Lifetime batting average, 279. He's on the low part as far as stats, but he got elected by the Baseball Writers Association. I don't know what did it. 279 for a catcher, maybe. 218 doubles. 1,252 hits. He had that one season, 350, and then another season, 302, and then another season, 333. Okay. All right. I have covered 160, let's see. 162 players for the Baseball Hall of Fame. There were a couple that are not in yet. Ishiro was one of them. Ishiro Suzuki. Derek Jeter. Tent Simmons. I think Larry Walker. Those are the ones. I covered them. They will be inducted. Those guys will get in. My next episode is a player who should be in the Hall of Fame but did not get elected because of the 1919 White Sox gambling scandal. I'll talk about that. Shoeless Joe Jackson is my next episode. His numbers are incredible. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I'm out.